What's up, Slackers? I got some uh, a good special today for all you. I've been waiting about a week and a half for this to show this thing off. I haven't been able to open it, open it up, do anything with it. It's kind of been depressing. Too many different things have been trying to fix the lights and the audio because everybody complains about it. But no, I just wanted to make it better, so it, it's a lot of work that I've been putting into it. So, but anyways, let's get down to the nitty gritty. So we got the the Rogue or the Asus Rogue. Uh, Maximus 11 Apex. Uh, it's the Z390 board. So this is supposed to be a big boy, especially for the LN2 guys. It's, uh, I'm actually really excited for this one. I have the uh, I have the Jenny, and then it performs epically well, especially on memory. So I'm hoping uh, to see some major CPU clock improvement because uh, the VRM on the Jenny was kind of lacking. So let's go, kind of go through and see what's in the box. Because that's what everybody everybody's interested, in, right? So it's a typical rogue. Got the little cover there with the logo. It's so pretty. And then what we got here is we got the plastic. We'll get rid of that for now. And we got the motherboard in all its glory. And what we'll do is we'll take a look at the board first. And then we'll go through all the goodies. So let's see what we have here. Number one, we gotta take it out of the cardboard. Just easier said than done. So, oh, look at that. Let's take a look at that. So, you notice uh, the new Apex. Supposedly, this is RGB. You got RGB in the near the Z390 chipset. You got RGB here. What's cool about this one? I think you can uh, customize the plate and put your own little name tag on it. We're gonna have to think of a good name. I think maybe in the comments, but we'll have to choose what goes on my board when we're benching it. So, you got a uh, dual slot memory, of course. Every OC board, if you want the top memory performance, you need the dual DIMMs. So, supposedly they support up to 64 gig of memory, the, the double density 32 gig ones. But you can run SLI, SLI supported. So, all right, enough for that for a sec. Let's go check out what other goodies we have. Let's see, go back to the beautiful box. There we go. Ah. So, let's see what we got here. We got the uh, stickers. Who doesn't love stickers, right? You put stickers on, it increases like 10 horsepower, right? It doesn't matter if it's cars, boats, motorcycles, even electric skateboards. Let's see. What do we get off here? 20% off cable mod cables. Not bad. Let's see. We got the booklet for the... Maximus 11 Apex. They say to read the directions, but I don't know. <laughs> what else we got here? Well, it looks like the follow rogue stuff. Cool. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, RGB cable. We got SATA cable or dual SATA cables. Another RGB cable. Ooh, remember that nameplate? Like I said in the comments, we're gonna see. Let's see what should we put on Tech Odin's uh, nameplate there, huh? So then we got SLI connector. Better believe it supports SLI. Another SATA connector. What is that? Um, looks like a little tape. It's probably something for M2. M2 screws. These things I love. Asus, pretty much only Asus does this. It's when you put in uh, like the power and the. Uh, Reset on case, you know, the little wires you have to put on. You can put them on this, and then you just put this on there. It's so much easier. And then every board should come with a Wi-Fi. This is always a bonus. I don't know why some don't. They should all do it. I mean, come on. Who doesn't use wireless internet these days? I know gamers are going to yell at me for that, but hey, come on now. And then we got, let's see, you know that M2 which is pretty cool. So you got the M2 slot in here. You could put two M2s, I think, but it's a uh, cooling. I, I think that was a heat sink on for one of the M2s, so. But it looks pretty dope, similar rogue fashion. Let's put that puppy down there. And then, I need something for the. <laughs> so, a couple things with this board. Obviously, you guys are gonna notice that the big, under these big heat sinks, right? You have 
16 phases of goodness. So the Jenny only had 10. So I'm expecting a huge improvement on CPU clocks, similar to what the Dark can do. And obviously two slots. Then you got the M2 slot if you want to use M2s. Usually we just use SATA in the LM2 world. Um, three PCIe slots, dual SLIs supported. You got the nice Apex RGB nameplate, minimalistically. <laughs> um, you have your normal, what's nice about the Asus boards, they have a, what's called an RSVD switch. So basically what it does is it turns the LN2 voltages on and off. So instead of setting the voltages, you can just flip a switch back and forth. Um, so this one has that normal LN2 mode. Um, one of the other nice things about them is uh, if you've ever been at an LN2 bencher or a me hardcore memory bencher, um, there's a thing with Samsung VDI is a slow posting where it would take like maybe one to two minutes, sometimes more depending on the type of sticks. This one doesn't have that slow post anymore, so it, uh, the memory compatibility ability is on point. So It's also got Asus flashback. Pretty much good. I mean, I have no complaints. I think it looks sexy so far. I mean, you got the normal stuff on the back. Two PS2s. Ventures always love PS2, especially if you have for keyboard. And then you got Ethernet. Eh, that doesn't matter so much. Uh, a couple of SATA 3s. You know, BIO, BIOS flashbacks, my big one. When you don't need a chip in there and you can just flash it. I love that. It's one of my favorite things on Asus boards. So, all right. So, that was pretty dope. Um, what I guess say, it's just a badass board. You know, oh, and if you, just in case you were asking, I got beer in here. No whiskey yet, but you gotta, you kind of gotta break air in, right? Break the cup in. So, so what, I guess what's coming up, uh, we're gonna be doing a, a CPU OC guide for air and water. Kind of go over how do you do it and how do benchers do it, you know? But we're just gonna do CPU first, and then uh, the second second part is gonna actually gonna be on memory overclocking. So. And it's going to be all specific to this board. So if you have this board, or probably most of the Asus boards, depending, um, you'll be able to overclock memory, you know. So uh, after that, then we'll do some LN2, liquid nitrogen stuff. We might even do liquid nitrogen do the um, uh, before the memory. So just actually get memory on. Sometimes you need for the IMC to, to grow and do ex really good clocks, you need the liquid nitrogen. So you need the juice. But anyways, uh, it was good to have you guys here, and I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, like and subscribe, and slacker out.